If you would like our free newsletters on various religious topics, just send us an email at cdebater at aol.com and free newsletters will be sent to you by mail. Just provide your postal address in your email. The following are samples of some of the newsletters we have available. Does God Believe in Atheists? Part 1 Seventh-day Adventism True or False The Agony of Deceit The Origins of Muhammad's Religion Spiritual Warfare Are Psychic Mediums Communicating with Ghosts or Demonic Spirits? Testimony to the Eternal Godhead, the Trinity. From Tradition to Truth, a Priest's Story. An Evaluation of the Oneness Pentecostal Movement. Mormonism, Counterfeit Christianity. Turn or Burn. Jehovah's Witnesses, Deceived Deceivers. Links to these newsletters can also be found at our website www.biblequery.org Once on the home page, simply click on the menu icon at the upper left hand corner. Then click on the newsletters button. Feel free to print them out. 1 Peter 3.15 says, But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. back to the main channel page and so underneath them the popular videos is our first playlist besides those other two but this is mainly the topical ones that are coming up now and that's called dealing with Jehovah's Witnesses and the Watchtower Society mm -hmm. and so these are all our videos that we posted on our channel dealing with Jehovah's Witnesses of course the people can see that now I recommend anyone watching this that I think we've got like 30 or something or more videos just on Jehovah's Witnesses. You can click that little arrow on the side and just keep clicking. And you can see, and it goes on 30 more. Okay, see, so we got at least 40 videos, it looks yeah. like, just on Jehovah's Witnesses. But if anyone's watching this, uh, I recommend the very first video if you don't have time to watch 40 videos. <laughs> right. Watch the first one. What I do on my channel is I try to put the best video I've got on that topic in the very first slot, mm. figuring that's the one that most people would hit first, you know. It may not have the most hits or views as some of the other videos, but it's the best one I've gotten. That first video there, Who's Knocking Number Two? I put a ton of effort into this video because I've got Jehovah's Witness books going back over a hundred years. Mm. And when we were editing this video, we were putting pages from the actual books that Jehovah's Witnesses these days don't want anybody to know about. And I handed them these books. Here's one by their very founder of the Jehovah's Witnesses. The time is at hand. If you want a good joke on that, read uh, Luke 21, 8. <laughs> and then remember remember this, this title of, uh, of uh, Charles Taz Russell's uh, book here. But I handed them this book and showed them, for, with not that much time here, but I, uh, I guess for the sake of the tape I could give you a couple of quotes here. I handed him this and I, I showed him where uh, Charles Taz Russell predicted the end of the time, end times in 1914. This is this book is from 1909. He's the very founder of their organization. And as we'll look in, a, in their uh, brief history here in the lecture outline in just a second, 
but uh, he states in here on page 76, in this chapter we present the Bible evidence proving that the full end of the times of the Gentiles, i.e. the full end of their lease of dominion, will be reached in A.D. 1914. And that, that date will be the, the farthest limit of the rule of imperfect man. And he goes through all these things talking about how God's going to set up his kingdom and overthrow, you know, these earthly kingdoms that we have here. On page 98 he says, True uh, is expecting great things to claim as we do, that within the coming 26 years all present governments will be overthrown and dissolved, uh, but we are living in a special and peculiar time, the day of Jehovah, in which matters culminate quickly, and it is written, a short, a short work will the Lord make on the earth, and then going down the page here a little bit, we consider it an established truth that the final end of the kingdoms of this world and the full establishment of the kingdom of God will be accomplished at the end of A.D. 1914. And then I think it's on page 101, although I didn't get the cross-reference. Yeah, he says right here, uh, the kingdom of God will be established, this is on page 101, he says that it is pointed out in prophecy as due to begin the exercise of power in 1878, and that the battle of the great day of God Almighty, Revelation 16:14, will end in AD 1914 with the complete overthrow of Earth's present rulership is already commenced. And, uh, you know, it's basically talking about, you know, that great day of Armageddon and things. Uh, and this kind of shook him up because what, what happened was I started telling right off because I could see times running out. Everything we've been talking about for the last 20 minutes was all watchtower doctrine. It was all taught by the Jehovah's Witnesses. And all that time they were condemning all these teachings of being of the devil, false. So, see, but I had been able to do it by asking questions and letting them give me answers to those questions. But see, I kind of controlled the conversation by asking the questions and let them tell me. And, it, you know, you could start to see them shake and get nervous and everything because these weren't some photo reprint of some book. I mean, these are the actual books. The time is at hand from his uh, studies in the Scripture. In fact, uh, Charles Taz Russell had said that if, if you don't read you, you can't really read the Bible alone. You must have his studies in the scriptures. Otherwise, you'll go into darkness within two years. So I showed him that. I showed him uh, this book by their second president, uh, also by the Watchtower Society, uh, uh, called Reconciliation, on page 14. Uh, Judge Rutherford, who wrote this book, who was the president of the Watchtower Society, taught... But the greatness and size of other stars or planets is small when compared with the Pleiades' importance because the Pleiades is the place of the eternal throne of God. That's page 14. And you should have, that the Jehovah's Witness is trying to break it up, had this book in her hand yesterday, and she read that. And you could, sometimes you can tell when something got through. It, it shook her up. She handed the book back to me quickly and tried to get the rest going out. But, uh, you know, I, the point was made because it was right there. Because one thing about false prophets is they can't change their history. And so I'm telling anyone that needs help on Jehovah's Witnesses, check that first video first. And of course, my debate with those Jehovah's Witnesses comes in real handy for a lot of folks. I've had a lot of comments and people contact me about that. If you like our YouTube channel, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and then by also clicking the bell above to get an automatic update whenever we produce another YouTube video for our See Answers TV channel. Please share our videos with your friends and relatives. May God bless you. Only one life will soon be passed. Only what is done for Christ will last. See related videos by tapping or clicking screens.